our sleeves over the past two years and got a court order to have the body exhumed. They're hoping significant advancements in DNA will lead to new clues and the killer. We collected uh, evidence that would have been potentially on the, on the hands. Catherine disappeared in 1994. Her body was found days later by the Berlin Reservoir on an oil access road in Portage County. She had been strangled and stabbed and she was left unclothed. Her mother, Janet Menendez, who passed away earlier this year, spoke about her anguish in 2015 when investigators were re-examining the crime scene. Kathy, you know, they can find who, who murdered her. It's not going to change anything for me because my life's not going to, my life's not going to change. Kathy's not going to come back. Also in 1994, the body of 14-year-old Sarah Ray Bain from Pennsylvania was found about a half mile from where Catherine's body was discovered. Detectives say it's possible the same person is responsible for both killings. But for now, at this cemetery, the focus was on Catherine's case. Investigators are hopeful there could be a big break in the cold case. I think that there's there's always hope, you know, or we wouldn't be here having the amount of, of uh, manpower and the amount of, uh, you know, movement that we've had here today. Catherine's remains were returned to her final resting place. Father Weikart is hoping for justice and peace. Well, I trust the mercy of God. And whatever the poor woman, whatever torment she, that ended her life, I, I hope that she's in peace in our Lord's arms. Now, investigators were working on the case and said they are hopeful that they will be able to connect the evidence and they find with the culprit. And President Biden said he will pardon thousands of former U.S. service members. We're talking about the men and women who were convicted of a now repealed military ban that criminalized consensual same-sex relationships. I'm uh, hopeful that there will be some consideration for what this means reparations wise. It's because you can't necessarily go back and think about like 30 years ago, what would have um, occurred if you'd had that opportunity to have the GI Bill or to get that home loan and be able to have that um, experience and generational wealth. Yeah, this could have major impacts on the Veterans Affairs benefits of service members that they could get, including VA education benefits, home loans, and military pensions. Storm Center Stuff Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney is here now. And, you know, I have to say, grateful to see some yeah. rain. Glad it wasn't severe. My yard is happy. I know, everything's greening up. And today was kind of a refreshing change of pace. We mm -hmm. got rain. We didn't have the severe storms. And the cool weather, yeah. it was kind of nice. A little bit of a break. Yeah. Now, we'll get back into the heat, but today, the beneficial rainfall was great. Look at the rainfall totals that we saw today. Winchester out there in Indiana was leading the pack, 0.74 inches of rain. A nice soaking. Bell Fountain checking in there, over a half inch. Same thing out towards Springfield. Hopefully, your grass was as happy as uh, my yard and Gabby's yard was. And if you want more rain, we do have some of the extended forecast, but we'll have to wait to the weekend. Now, the moisture that the rain put down may cause us a little drop overnight, but I don't think it's going to be a huge prop. Some patchy fog is possible by tomorrow morning, so watch out for that, especially as you're driving through those river valleys across the Great Miami or Stillwater tomorrow morning. And it's a cool night down to 61 degrees by the time you get out the door tomorrow morning. Now, check out the view in the downtown day. I thought this was pretty cool. Notice this little bit of haze that's starting to show up as you look lower upon the horizon. It's not thick, but that is the beginning of some of this fog starting to develop. And I think it'll be patchy as we go through tonight. High Doppler 7 radar, dry, cool temperatures to go along with it. We expand the view. High pressure is starting to take control of our forecast as it starts to drop on down from Canada. And it'll be in the driver's seat for the next two days to give us some really nice weather to round out the work week. Well, let's check out our forecast out the door tomorrow morning. You do not need the rain here, unlike the past few days, but you want the sunglasses and definitely some outside plans with that comfortable air in place. Here's a look at Skycast. We start out tomorrow morning. Temperatures there in the 60s. We should see plenty of sunshine as we get into our afternoon hours tomorrow. And even though we have a lot of sun, we're not going back to 90, 75 degrees here at noon tomorrow. High temperatures around 80 degrees tomorrow. And we'll have the lower humidity paired up with that. So a very comfortable day as you spend some time out and about. Now, temperatures, they're going to be on the rise. We do get back up to 89 degrees on Saturday, but as quickly as the heat builds in, we have our next cold front coming in to give us some rain to cool us off, and then some cooler days behind it. Look at next Monday, only a high temperature of 79 degrees. Here's future cast for that next front. You see Friday, it's a dry day for us. We look ahead to Saturday, scattered showers, perhaps a few rumbles of thunder work in. I know you see a lot of green on the map. 
but this is the extended range of the model, so you can't just pinpoint those storm cells. Don't expect a washout. Sunday, we're looking good. Also sunny skies. Come right back to our forecast. Here is my storm center seven day forecast mostly sunny tomorrow at 81 degrees up to 87 on friday but still low humidity saturday 89 degrees with a chance for some showers and thunderstorms to cool us off with that next weather system rolling on through sunday's a beautiful day sunshine 82 cooler on monday at 79 degrees we'll get the upper 80s back in here for tuesday and wednesday with a few more storms come next wednesday sounds good austin thank you an ohio couple accused of abusing their five adopted children prosecutors said the kids or tortured.